Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Grace's F. Last time, we went to the, um, winch, uh, the WAF ruins, or the win, uh, the win whatever ruins. Wow, I forgot what the name of them were. Oh, um, library, uh, synopsis. Um, uh, does it say anything about it? All I know, there's some, ru some ruins under the, um, under Barona that, um, we, uh, investigated in, um, wow, I'm so unpre underprepared for this, <laughs> um, wow, it's been so long, <laughs> oh, don't mind me, guys, uh, I lost my train of thought, anyways, uh, we, um, act, uh, we, um, unlocked, uh, um, Asbel's Excel mode, from the monsters we fought and defeated, with the help of Lambda, and now, and then we unlocked a couple more um, of their title of uh, I think we unlocked uh, uh wow <laughs> Sharia's and Malik's uh, Excel modes, and next we're gonna go to Grail side and get um her uh, Sharia's uh fourth Mystic Art title, or I'll show you where it is since I already have it. Booyah! Sorry guys, it's been so long and that's why I'm like pausing this stall. A night at the end! Hmm. Something wrong? No, I just spaced out for a second. If you're feeling tired, we should rest somewhere. That's not a bad idea. Maybe we should stay at the inn tonight. Hey everyone! I just got us a reservation at the inn. A considerate gesture from Asbel? He must have been worried about Sharia. What's wrong with Sharia? The heat has gotten to her, and she's a bit exhausted. What? Sharia, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But why did you get a reservation? Because tomorrow is the annual Lake Grail Festival. I thought we could take a day and check it out. <sighs> Figgish. Well, that's fine. We wanted a room anyway. Yes. Let's go rest at the inn. And let's thank my brother for being so incredibly attentive. Come on, it all worked out in the end, right? You're welcome. Hey, wait up! <laughs> how can how um how considered and dense of as well as always. <laughs> all right, let's check the event store. I won't let it run its course. It feels so heavy. I must be tired, but I can't ask to rest. Now, if you get a fever, oh crap! I have to be strong. Of course, you have to be strong. Hello, please. Are you with the relief organization? Oh no. Yes, I am. You must help us. We were making explosives, but something went wrong and... Oh, it's horrible. Oh, jeez. Of course. I'll come right away. Sharia? Hey, the cook's asking what you want for breakfast. Sharia? Hmm. It's a little early in the morning to be running off. No kidding. Asbel. Hey, there you are. I'm sorry, I had to go help more of the wounded. Oh, well, I guess that... Jeez, Sharia. You don't look well at all. Are you alright? Oh, I'm fine, it's... I I'm just a little tired is all. And stubborn. You're burning up. I'm fine, really. You're not fine, Sharia. You have to rest. Yeah, come on. You okay? Can I get you anything? Just keep holding my hand. Oh, jeez. We want cat. Go away. 
All I hear is my cat meowing in the background. What? Hold on, guys. Why are you apologizing? When we were kids, you always stayed with me when I was sick. Yeah, because you used to cry and tell me I couldn't leave. I did that? Um, so why were you looking for me earlier anyway? What? What, kitty? Do you want attention or something? Oh, don't worry about it. It wasn't important. I see. It's weird to be sick again. It's been a long time. Back yeah, it then, has been. I just wanted to be healthy so I could keep up with you. I guess Sophie helped your wish come true, huh? Yes, she did. And once that happened, you raced past me and never looked back. That's not true. I was always with you, Asbel. And now I see that you were always with me. Um, I suppose? You're acting kind of weird today, Sharia. This isn't like you. No kidding. Maybe it's the fever talking. Go to sleep, okay? I'll get stronger, you know? And then we can run at the same pace. We can do anything if we stay together, Asbel. No kitty. This way. We can even bring peace to Ephinia. I know we can, Sharia. Sleep well. Something tells me this cat's gotta jump on my lap. I will. Thanks, Asbel. Yep, saw that coming. Come on, Kitty, I'm trying to record here. Alright, what's next? Um I guess it's uh to Valenek. Because we there's a couple things we need to do. Let's see. Uh, but first, let's go to a field location. Um, where is it? Where is it? Border, uh, where is it? Bendel Borderlands. That's where we need to go. Because we need to walk across this. Don't ask me why. I guess it's for a skit later. Yeah, I don't know. It's a lame excuse, but, you know, what the hell. And the enemies are still here, as always. But I mean to just completely ignore them, because I can just completely, you know, waste them. Ow, cat. Oh god, is there a st is there a thing here? No, there isn't. Okay. Then we go to the inn. Um, yeah, the inn. There's a skit and a cutscene here. First, let's go to the skit. Crisis of leadership. This town seems brighter and more energetic than the last time we were here. The whole country has grown a bit richer thanks to Pascal's hot water distribution system. It doesn't appear the water has arrived here yet. Right. They're scheduled to begin installing the pipes at this location soon. It pains me to say this in your presence, Malik. But I fear Chancellor Eigen's government may not hold for much longer. The invasions of Lant, the experiments on Forbrenir, his dictatorial ways and short-term political calculations have pushed this country into a corner. It's holding on for now, but I truly worry for the future of Fendel. I find it difficult to foresee what's up ahead. I have taken responsibility to see this development plan through, no matter what happens to the government. I assure you, my associates and I will turn things around in Fendel. For anyone but you, Captain Malik, I'd have my doubts. But you've already done fantastic work with the hot water system. Your Highness is most kind. Um... You guys haven't forgotten about Pascal by any chance, have you? Uh, I think we just did. <laughs> Oopsies. 
and now a cutscene. Time flies. You're a man now in all but name. Nice. You promised to buy me your favorite cocktail when I'm older. Did I now? Yes, you did. It's been a long time since I've really enjoyed a stiff drink. I used to drink to forget my troubles, but now it just brings them back. Huh. If I'd only been honest with myself about my feelings, she might still be alive. Um, Captain? Come on, Monty. I've been looking for you, Malik. Wait, you're... You are Malik Caesar, correct? Special attaché to the Chancellor? Okay. Let me get straight to the point. My name is Ulysia, and we need your help. But I don't do... What is this? What kind of help? I cannot say more here. If you are willing to listen, come to the location indicated on this paper. Also, I have a message for you. If you confuse us, the lilac petals will fall a second time. What is that supposed to mean? No idea. I was simply asked to relay the message. Okay. This sounds like revolutionary business. My days of bringing about change through force have passed me by. Find someone else. Biggish. Very well. I'll pass your answer on. Ulysses' voice actor sounds familiar. Don't know where, though. Captain, did you know that woman? She looks like... A woman who died a long time ago. Zavert Plaza, is it? If you refuse, the lilac petals will fall a second time. Hmm. Why does that sound sound so familiar? Why she looks exactly like you know? I don't know. Well, let's go to Zabbard and find out. Oh, this is also a test of my new uh, capture card. Hopefully, it's in clear, is in better quality. So, let's do this. Lilacs hold the meaning of memories of youth. The lilac petals will fall a second. Wait, so that's what it means. Captain? She's in danger. We have to find her. He's okay. Here. Chancellor Eigen is here. Hmm. The Chancellor has come to visit his people. Really? Damn. Captain. Why did you What is the meaning of this, Malik? You'll see soon enough. What? She's... This woman is Ulysia, one of the few revolutionaries still active in this country. How can you people associate with this man? He's a government dog. That's a lie. He isn't like that. Peace, Asbel. Huh. I understand why she would see me that way. The people of this nation finally have hope back in their lives. But the common good means nothing to those who seek power. You are no different than the government you claim to oppose. If this continues, the people of Fendel will eventually lose their hope. Sounds about right. We fight to free the people from the boot heel of government oppression. Your comrades were ready to let you die to achieve a goal. 
If the revolution won't take care of its own, how will it possibly look out for the people? You understand nothing. You remind me of Chancellor Eigen's late daughter. What? I loved her. Once. Your friends thought that if you approached me, I would agree to help them. But when that failed, they thrust a suicide mission upon you. Wow. It doesn't matter. I'm just as dead now as if I'd finished it. Come, Eigen. Execute me and see how a true patriot faces death. Okay, you're insane, woman. Very well, if that is your wish. For tonight, we will hold you in custody. You what? Tomorrow morning, you will board a ship. Once it is at sea, you will be informed of your destination. I see. So it's to be exile then. Do you find this acceptable, Chancellor? Do as you wish. Just take her from my sight. Of course, it reminds reminds him of reminds him as as his reminds him of his daughter. There we go. I can't even speak today. God damn it. When I see her face. Yep. I can't help but think of my daughter. Wow. I am old, Malik, and I'm getting older. It seems I spend all my time thinking on better days. Sure sounds like it. Then we must do all we can to ensure this is a new age for the people. You love this country, Chancellor. When the people see that, they will rise to defend her. Yep. I promise you. Indeed. From now on, I shall work with the people to see that they want for nothing. Yep. Improve this country. It's the only way to go. And then right here, you get his title for um his fourth mystic art. For Malik's fourth mystic art, that really, really long as hell name that I cannot remember off the top of my head because I know it ends with butchery. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think I'll end it here for today. It was, this is probably a good t place to end. So next time on Tales of Grace's F, we will head to the Martian Enclave and see what Pascal wants. So, until then guys, see you later.